mismo, ¿me entiendes? Porque yo estoy allá y uno inculca también. Mira, claro, claro. Bueno, eso fue todo. Hay que también porque tú sabes que No he esperado esto, pero no loco. Ven. Sí, se siente, sí se Ven, siente. Voy. Está triste porque uno Ven. se pone a pensar y el, le pega el, la tristeza. Uno nunca había estado así. Yo nunca había vivido así. Ya va, hijo. Ya va, ya va, ya va. Ya va. Eh. Ya va. Mira, ya me tu papá. Y es duro. Es difícil estar aquí en la calle. Aquí me siento con mucho frío, sí, con mucho frío, de verdad. Nunca imaginé llegar aquí y estar así como estoy. Sí, de verdad. Sí, primera noche que voy a pasar aquí afuera, debajo del puente, porque estaba durmiendo en una casa y nos sacaron. This is how I spent much of 2023, meeting mothers and fathers and children, talking with them through messages on WhatsApp, looking for a story buried underneath the politics and headlines. They came in search of a better life. What they found wasn't necessarily better or worse, just something different, something new. Una vida nueva, una vida nueva para mí, para mi familia, para mi hija, para mis hijos, sí. Acá, pues, es una vida nueva, comienza de cero, pues. Eso, comienza de cero. Filadelfia y New Jersey, New York. Es que en Denver no hay refugio. Aquí no hay refugio para migrantes. Eso es lo malo. Get an answer and get an answer now before you move anybody out of this camp. Go get an answer. Get an answer. We're sending out the distress signal. This is, without question, a humanitarian crisis. No nos gusta, pero es lo que hay. Y la vida no es fácil empezando, a veces es fuerte. Struggle is beautiful, right? Struggle is what makes us who we are. When a family isn't whole, it's hard to feel like a place is home. Maria and her family didn't expect to be here at the Denver Animal Shelter. Desde ese día no la ve, desde el 25. La última vez que la vi fue el 25 de enero. Fue un día miércoles que el día que llegamos aquí a Denver. As soon as they registered to stay at a city-run shelter, they learned their family would be separated. Entonces, no de otro. Ramona would be alone. Mal, los primeros días no dormí. No dormía porque como ella dormía conmigo, yo pasaba la noche y me despertaba y se me salían las lágrimas sola y yo decía dónde estará Ramona. Another obstacle to a better life. We met Maria's family near the border in El Paso, Texas. No es fácil. No es fácil. Four months after they left Venezuela, with Ramona at their side. Toca tener fuerza hasta, o sea, sacar fuerzas de donde no hay por los hijos, porque si yo no tengo fuerzas, mis hijos tampoco. Ellos dependen de mí. Maria got them here. Ah, ya tengo los ojos aguados. ¿Por qué? Porque voy a ver a mi bebé. 
They've spent 10 days apart. So Maria and her kids are here today for a visit. You could understand not one word of Spanish and still understand this. It doesn't matter that they're living in a shelter. It doesn't matter she's looking for work. It doesn't matter what they've left behind. This is helping them feel at home. A permanent reunion won't come until they find more stable housing. So today was just a visit. Another obstacle to their better life together. <laughs> Maria got her family here. <laughs> She'll get them through this too. Look at us just teachers having brunch. During spring break, we'll be able to chew our food and teachers probably taste it. Don't want to think about school. Anything else. Okay. Yeah. But these three Jefferson yeah. County teachers can't stop talking about it. That was not on the plan for spring break no. this year. Ten miles away from where Genevieve Bassett um, teaches. It felt like a punch in the stomach. Another oh, yeah. school shooting. Even though we're not there, mm -hmm. the impact on just schools oh. and teachers. and This is not what Rhiannon Wenning signed up for. Part of my job description was not shield myself from gunfire. They worry about their students yeah. and themselves. I've been in teaching now for 22 years and I, there has never been a time where I felt the least safe than I do now. And that to me is not okay. We did not sign up for this. No. Some of Genevieve's memories are less about learning, more about lockdowns. I was in the staff bathroom, coming back from lunch, texting my parents, like, you know. I love you. Yeah, my, my dad is very much a fan of me not being a teacher anymore. Uh -huh. yep. I just kind of put myself back in that bathroom, mm -hmm. you know, in that moment. And then to think that our colleagues at East have done that multiple times yep. in one year. Even when they're not in the classroom, their heart is. Well, sometimes you can't take the teacher out even on spring break. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When they chose to be teachers, they didn't choose to be protectors. I never, I never thought that being a teacher would be a a trauma survivor like exactly just doing our everyday job <laughs>